G'day scrappers. Today I'm unboxing 500 IP cameras and um, that's what I've been doing so far this morning. So I've still got over 400 boxes, uh, sorry, over 400 IP cameras to unbox. Each box has got 10 cameras within its own little box. <laughs> so I need to get rid of obviously this wall of boxes so I can take it to the recycling centre. At least I can get rid of all this cardboard and make some space here for um, for other things. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to just remove all the cameras and all the contents in the box, put the boxes back into the boxes and load them up into the van, take them to the transfer station and that way all the cardboard will get recycled as well as these plastic packing strips so I've made a start already so let's go out into the back there and what I wanted to do is just um, unbox one of these and just give you a look at the contents inside <laughs> you know when you unbox things like that you've got to be kind of organized so you don't just end up with one massive pile of stuff that you've got to sort out so i've got everything sort of ready to go my blue bin there that's for the cameras uh, there's already uh over 100 cameras in there um i've just emptied this this tray is for the power supply units now what i did when i when i first did i did 100 at the start or probably actually yeah probably a bit more i i had you know probably i think i had 600 cameras uh, when I first got them a few weeks ago so what I did at the start is as I was emptying these boxes I used the first bunch of boxes to pack the cameras back in there and pack the uh, power supply units back in there so I've got uh, over 100 power supply units that I can um, you know I might do something with them later I, I don't need any more than over a hundred same as the cameras just in case I need these cameras for some kind of fun art project or something one day um, so I've got heaps this is just the, the end that I'm just going to end up scrapping out so so that's the camera bin this is going to be the power supply bin the uh, red bucket is for um, a little bit of cast aluminium that comes in the frame in the mount uh, down there I'm just going to put little bits of scrap steel here uh, plastics down there and in this blue bin that's where I put the low grade wire so it, it seems you know it's a bit of a, a, a labor here but it's not so bad once you get a roll you know um, yeah, it doesn't take that long. Uh, at the moment, it's just a little bit awkward because I've got the camera in my way. But um, so, oh yeah, I just wanted to mention about the. Um, you know, a lot of people will ask, "Well, why don't you sell these cameras? You're crazy. You know, you you're turning something that you could sell them for twenty dollars each or thirty dollars each into." Um, one dollar of scrap well um, I can't sell these cameras it was part of the uh, surveillance agreement that I when I picked up I had to sign a contract I can't sell any of this surveillance stuff right so it's either um, pick it up and scrap it all out or don't pick it up at all and don't have it so watch the options which one would you go for would you would just say oh no I'm not gonna even take it you know I mean obviously there are things that I can use uh, um, power supply units I might do something with later but um, yeah that's that's the deal I just, might just open it this side just so uh, because I don't want to put any part numbers and all that because this stuff as I said I need to destroy all this stuff this this is, was not a regular e-waste recycling pickup this was a destruction kind of pickup pick it up destroy all the contents 
do what you want with the contents once you've destroyed it circuit boards and all that sort of thing but don't sell the goods so it's pretty straightforward very simple so you know yep i know i've been in this game for a long time you don't need to tell me that you can sell stuff like this um not that many people will buy these kind of ip cameras because um they're kind of generic anyway they're not really uh you know I, I suppose they're pretty good but they're still generic so there you go that's in the in the kit so we've got a obviously the main thing is is the camera so this is where the work is involved is uh removing all the packaging and then um recycling all the packaging first so in here you've got a cardboard box you've got a cardboard luckily it's cardboard uh rigid sort of um, um you know tray because uh you know if it was plastic it would be you know it just cause a real extra problem to recycle so so i've got my first bit of plastic but that's easy plastic to send so i'll send that away when i send the cardboard so there's your camera so that's this model here and uh you know they got you know like night vision leds so they're a nice little camera and you know i don't mind keeping a, a hundred or so of these and the back got a little gold jack here and that's it so i'll open one up to give you a look at scrap wise what's inside okay. But yeah, um, I did a batch where I opened up, as I was unpacking everything, I, I was opening up the, the cameras and scrapping it out, but it just takes too long, and then I end up doubling up on the plastic, so I'm not ready to scrap all the cameras out yet. Okay, so like with this, you can't send this just to plastic recycling because you've got your little um screw mounts in there so you need to break them out before you can send it otherwise it's a uh, pc abs um and it's very hard to recycle you know so that's a problem with that so here's our uh inside of the camera and you can see there's an led board up the top and your main board down the down the bottom that holds the camera and everything so just for interest's sake because the rest is not you know this it's really uh it's only meant to be a short video just to uh show you what i'm doing today and and hopefully by the end of the day i get to show you um a van full of empty boxes all ready to go um that would be the the most exciting part for me so that's the led very you know virtually no you know precious metal value uh you're better off just selling that i can still sell that as a mid-grade board you know um and there's the main board so you know there is a, a few little uh things on, on there you know there's a, at least the board has got a bit of value you know so you imagine 500 you know of these boards 500 of them 500 of everything and even uh, there's three brass um riser screws can't remember what they're called but you know they're brass so at least you know th there's three in one so if i've got over 500 there's over 1500 little brass screws um you know so i guess it all adds up bit of wire so i still need to unscrew this jack out of here and you know generally they're they're gold plated um i'm not really sure what kind of gold plating it is it's uh it's very low these a lot of these jacks are very low gold plating um you need a hell of a lot and yeah they're not worth much um but um still 
you're still better off taking them off and keeping them and building a pile and these would probably be for reverse electroplating um, so there we go and uh, other side so it's it's quite a heavily populated little board you've got two good BGA chips here class one so um, you know you can't really beat that it looks like the memory chip and the main chip little battery here see these little batteries are tricky you've got to be careful when when sending um, boards like this to sell you've got to pay attention to little batteries like that because it's still a battery and it's still got to be removed and uh, but the other side and mind you underneath this camera lens there'll be a little CMOS sensor so we've got um, good there should be okay the lens is pretty much useless okay yep. so yeah the CMOS sensor is uh, basically all you can see is just a little silicon chip there uh, obviously not worth taking off there's you know you just smash it all up and you won't get anything really out of it underneath it yeah so it's just basically mounted inside the board uh, yeah very little there and and you know there are really good components on this the only problem is they're so tiny like see here there that's a little crystal oscillator with the gold band you know another one here so i mean they're so small if you go to take them off they're just going to crush up anyway and you're not going to be able to get them so you know there are um a couple of little mlccs that you might you know you might be able to take but everything else the ic chips are just so tiny that there's you know no you know point in trying to you know depopulate something like this but because it's double-sided you know technically this is you know almost as good as a you know a, a, i suppose a telecom board or or a, a cell phone board like a more modern one um but you're probably not going to get any any better value other than mid-grade or peripheral board depends where you are so what i would do on these remove the battery remove these two or actually there's a really tiny little bga if you can get that remove these bgas because these are the highest grade bgas for gold recovery um so get your good gold take the battery off other side maybe take a couple of mlccs if you really want to get fiddly but the rest just throw it into peripheral board uh this one the same you know uh it's probably a little bit lower than peripheral board but still you know we still here in australia we call these mid-grade boards we don't have peripheral grade here so they both go into mid-grade board so that was the camera all right and then the rest is pretty straightforward it's just uh removing everything out of the plastics so we've got our uh standard um uh, cable here you know with the the uh, little uh, phone kind of jacks we've already established they're not worth going for the gold recovery so i don't bother taking these off i don't bother even um doing anything you know trying to get mid-grade for this i just throw these straight into uh low grade with the plugs even with this little connector straight in throw it out the next thing is the power supply as i said i've kept a lot of these because uh, you can use them as uh, you know the part number they can they can fit a lot of things even some uh, laptops so we just got a the Australian um, version of the plug so this is uh, generic all over the world but depending on what country you get a different one of these and so just goes in there somehow right and there's your power supply so because i've got so many now i might keep a few more towards the end but all i'm going to do here is just um, 
remove a little bit of brass here cut the wire off cut the end off so I've got mid-grade wire ready to go and then can always just depends on what's inside this either a, a low grade board like a little power board or a transformer in this case it will be a small power board if you wanted to go to that trouble smash it up get the power board out otherwise you could just throw this into scrap steel you know and let them get a bit of extra value out of it just depends how much time you got and how much you want to waste and then the last couple of things obviously an antenna um, you know once you've got a bunch of them the you know you, how many do you need so that's just scrap steel and then the count camera mounting bracket which is just a generic camera mounting bracket um, it's a, a lot of there is aluminium here but um, so you know these little screws three screws with the little wall things um, I keep these you know because sometimes I'm doing repairs and screwing things into walls so I keep a lot of these and I've got like a big box anytime I need these screws you know just for my workshop so the main thing here that I get out so this is have to, has to I can't recycle this because it's polypropylene so this needs to go into landfill unfortunately so this piece here is cast aluminium it's part of the camera bracket obviously this stem here is 50 50 cast aluminium but it's also got it's got a steel thread so it would go as uh, irony aluminium if you uh, if you have an irony aluminium bin I just throw them straight into um, scrap steel because uh, I don't have time but uh, you know you know I might just throw fill up a bucket but you know you fill up a bucket and you only get two dollars fifty and then you gotta carry this whole bucket around for two dollars fifty you know so scrap steel this one goes in my cast aluminium bucket so that's a good piece at least to get some instant cash for that and just these screws so again 50 50 I've tried to already remove the steel out of this little tiny little bit of cast aluminium but it's just not worth it. it you can't it's sort of mounted in so scrap steel and that's it so it's just dealing with the plastics and all the rubbish get the little screws out so I'm a lot more faster obviously and organized when I do this I'll, I'll sort of put the camera to the side but there we go so I'll put the leave the cardboard in there I'll put the empty box back in there and that's it and this is going to go to cardboard recycling so what I first do is I empty out the the main box completely more plastic just in between but at least that plastic is easy to recycle they can make money out of it so they take it so that's all I do I just remove all the boxes as I empty them I stack them up like that so I'll put that aside and I'll just uh, make a start with all these and I'll just rip into them really quickly rip all the plastic off bang 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 throw the empty into the main box and then once the main box is uh, once I've done them all seal up the box throw it in the van go on to the next one okay this is how I do it scrap steel straight in don't even worry about taking out the packet done scrap steel box in remove the cast aluminium camera out plastic gone straight into low grade insulated power supply straight in box done and just keep going like that power supply out any system you like to do plastic scrap steel steel box back in
and on we go. So it's a really quick thing as you start rolling, you know, you do a, a box of 10 in about, you know, five minutes or so and uh, just keep going. So that's what I'm going to keep doing now and uh, I'll come back when I'm, I've got down some of the piles. Well, goodness me, <laughs> I finally done it and whew, well, there we go. So we've got 500, probably a little bit more than 500 IP cameras in this wheelie bin. So yeah, that'll take me a while to, um, you know, I, it took me long enough, quite a few hours to, um, you know, off and on empty all the boxes and all the packaging material that was the worst part but you know if that took me hours to do imagine how long it's going to take to scrap out each individual camera you know so all i'm going to do is i'm going to try and squash them in here if i can i think it's pretty tightly packed and then just every time i've just got a little bit of spare time you know i want to do something different so i'll just do like five or ten at a time and slowly get through them over you know a couple of months maybe you know um you know and the same with these power supply units like this whole tub filled up with the little power supplies but because i've already kept quite a lot and then i've got a, hot, a full box as well so um i'm just going to scrap these out i've got over you know 100 probably 150 or so so I don't need any more than that, so I'm just going to uh, scrap them out. I'll bust them open, or I'll bust one open and have a look at the circuit board if it's worthwhile. If uh, the circuit board, because it feels reasonably light, so um, so uh, all I'll probably do is just cut the wire, send that to number two copper insulated, and then throw the rest in scrap steel. Um, so we've still got them to work out. So yeah, a huge box and a cardboard box full of them. Um, unbelievable. I was actually surprised that I ended up getting all the cameras in and filled up this tub of all the cast aluminium bits, just these little round discs. And <laughs> that's actually quite heavy. Also, um, also got another cast iron bin here, so I've had to throw some in there as well. And uh, there's me, um, well, I, I can recycle this. So I'll also take this to the recycling center. Now that I've finished, I'll just uh, strap all these up, bundle it all up and um, yeah, this can be recycled. Only this stuff can't be recycled. So, and i uh, got two full buckets of all the scrap, either antennas or iony aluminum screws and stuff um that's my second box of plastic but again this is easy to recycle so i'll, I'll also take this to um to the recycling center and starting to really fill up this uh, wheelie bin of uh, low grade insulated so that's all the uh cable there hundreds and hundreds of cables uh, yeah, just for the time it takes to uh, cut all these ends off and remove this bit to get number two insulated, I'd rather just leave the plugs on and that and just much quicker to throw them in and get number one. You know, sometimes you, uh, you know, you, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you, you don't win as much. So I'm just happy to get my dollar a kilo rather than getting two dollars a kilo if i cleaned them up but then i'd have a lot less weight anyway so that's all that finally i got rid of my wall of boxes on this side at least out the front uh, so yeah there we go my wall is empty yay give me a chance now to sweep up this uh stuff that's built up underneath and uh finally at least like this space here it's not really a place that it's only where I like to put temporary things. Um, otherwise, it's in the way of the uh, gate when I'm bringing stuff in. So it's just a good little temporary space. Like when I get things like monitors, that's where I like to put them until I uh, work out what I'm going to do with them. That's my van 
just about full when I put in the plastic and stuff and I might do a few more cardboard boxes at the back just top it up with a bit of cardboard at the back here but it's chock-a-block full right to the roof so you know so, you know there's at least four and a half cubic meters of cardboard and each one of these are jam-packed with you know 10 boxes so there's I can't really squash them down or anything um, yeah so they just got to go like that so that'll be good to get rid of what I do is on the way to street scrap I'll drop these off and then head to the um, street destination to go and pick up some scrap me and my chicken are going to uh, go and have uh, a cup of coffee and a bite to eat and next stage is going to be dropping off this cardboard and finishing up the video Lots of cardboard. Well, cardboard's worth money, so that's why they take it. Because they can make money out of it. Oh. Alright. We're coming towards the end of this unboxing video. Finally, good to get rid of all this. Okay, almost. That's it, okay. Still gotta empty that plastic. Rigid plastic. Oh, at least it's all getting recycled. Heading in the right direction. More soft.
scrap steel. Yep. They'll take the whole lot for free. Okay, televisions. TVs galore. this printer thing into computers <sighs> some nice computers in here made them okay well that was that was that um whew, beautiful all done so there we go guys that was the big unboxing and final drop off of the cardboard so we've we've got some work done we've um, done a little bit for the environment and now I'm going out scrapping so have fun guys and I'll catch you next time.